This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. The following episode of Charlotte, a City of International Success is brought to you by Central Piedmont Community College and viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Coming up on Charlotte, a City of International Success, I will interview two wonderful artists bringing Russian and Romani cultures from there all the way to Charlotte. Stay with us. Welcome to Charlotte, a city of international success. I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Today our guests are Mr. Vadim Kolpako and his wife, Mrs. Marina Schoenfelder. And they both are great artists and a great couple. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Hello, Maha. Hey, hey Vadim and Marina, I have known you for quite some time and uh, had the pleasure of actually partnering with both of you. And uh, I'm really excited because we can actually talk about you and the history and your art forms. That is totally, totally amazing. And to start with, Marina, both of you are from Russia, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, that's, that's great. right. <laughs> what part of uh, Russia are you from? Uh, the town where I was born, it's near Nizhny Novgorod um, uh -huh. in Russia. And, yeah. and um, that time it was a Soviet Union, so the country that does not exist anymore. Oh, I see. So, um, and then uh, I was born there, but I don't really remember much um, about, you know, living there a lot because my family moved to Estonia at the age of three. Estonia? Estonia, wow. yes. So wow. I was three years old, so I grew up in Estonia. What, what about you, Vadim? Well, I was born in Russia in Saratov city, uh, yeah. which is, you know, in the middle of a famous river, Volga, as you know. And uh, I spent all my life pretty much uh, in Russia um, until uh, I was like 21 when I moved ah. to the United States. So okay, I before grew we up get in there. Moscow. Yeah. <laughs> before we get there. So, um, you know, you said you moved to Estonia and I know you are a superb dancer. Now, is it what you want to do all your life? How did you get into dancing? Uh, well, at the age of four, um, my mom, she took my hand and she brought me to the ballet studio. Ballet? Uh, ballet, oh, yes. Wow. Russian ballet is very popular. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is, and uh, I was trained in um, Russian classical ballet in, for 10 years. So it's your mom who took you there? It was my mom, yes. Um, so uh, there was her dream to become a dancer. She always wanted to be, but it was impossible for her because she was from a very big family. They had eight kids. Eight kids? Yes, um, <laughs> her family was, yeah. That is big, yeah. So it's, yeah. Um, you know, it was really hard. So she always wanted me to dance, so that's her dream. <laughs> oh, wow, that, that, that is really special. So you are actually fulfilling her dream. So, and of, of course, that has become your dream as well afterwards. So, um, are you the only child then, or did you have I am. Sibling? Yes, I am you the only are. one. Oh, that's, that's a big shift coming from, <laughs> Exactly, you know. from the big family. Yeah, she was from the big family, but she only had me. Wow, that, that's wonderful. So you have learned Russian ballet for 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of learning. It is, yes, it is. Now, you know, I heard of Russian ballet. I have seen it myself. Um, they actually visited when I was little, you know. Um, for Russian ballet, is it a lot about your body, your structure and postures, or is there a lot of storytelling as well in Russian ballet? Um, it's really about the body and, you know, to keep your mm -hmm. back straight and your hands. So it's just, you know, the posture. It's very important, exactly. That's a lot. So that's the reason they train, probably start training early. When you're young, when they can actually shape you, yeah. right? Yes, in the ballet, you, you should start early. As oh. a child. As a child, you have to start. So uh, you started when you were four and for 10 years, that's a, that's a lot of commitment of actually learning ballet. So coming for you as a musician, you know, um, you, did you always wanted to be a musician or th what did your parents do? Well, uh, my parents uh, owned like a small business, you know, okay. at that time and uh, when I was a child and then uh, I, always loved you know dance and music and art you know and i used to dance like uh, break dancing we talked about you know 
and uh, that was very popular. Michael Jackson, you know, style of dance. Oh, and he's all all, he was all over the place. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, that, that was like late 80s, and uh, so I was like six and seven years old, so I tried to, you know, perform even, you know, at, at that age. Uh, this style of dance and music and uh, you know I seriously started music when I was 13. Now did your parents expect you to continue their business? Uh, well yeah kind of you know they wanted like to do me like uh, to me to be like uh, some you know businessman or something I don't know. Well usually small businesses you yeah. hope that you can pass it on to your children. Yeah something like that but uh, you know I never actually loved that much so I just wanted to you know do art and music and wow. what inspired you uh my Did uncle he's your a, uncle yeah he is a legendary musician and uh, russian roma uh, gypsy seven string guitar player and What's composer his name? his name is alexander uh alexander kolpakov like my ah. uh and uh, so i started to, you know with him when i was 13 years old and i moved to moscow and you know it's seriously wanted to to learn the guitar playing you know and yeah. be like him so he was my kind of like a yeah, role and, uh, model mentor you to yeah be like yeah. Him. yeah yeah so is this uh, music uh, um your uncle mm -hmm. mr alexander uh, did he learn somewhere else uh, from somebody else or he actually is something he started on his own learning? he he learned by him uh, by himself so, and uh, you know since the childhood he was you know, his childhood he was playing also like me you know it's you know studying and something you know hearing listening to music different oh. so you know, like musicians and cds and records you know in that time so, and um then he made you know um he made it big so he, he you know became like a, one of the great just guitarists uh, in russia you know seven string gypsy guitarist and, uh, now, did you say seven-string gypsy guitar? Yeah, is that a? That's is that the one? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the, my instruments okay. that uh, you know I <laughs> play on, and it's a Russian guitar, uh -huh. uh, and it's uh, it's got a different tuning. Okay. It's not a regular tuning uh, or extra string. It's actually a different tuning. It's open G. Sounds like this. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> you know, you have learned, Marina ballet you said for 10 years now were you performing with your school obviously it's outside your school this is just a russian school right i mean ballet school right so were you performing with them do you have to travel yes within, we had uh, concerts Estonia or? Um, we had concerts a lot um, okay. of course um, and uh, performed all of estonia and then went to russia too so i was oh. performing is it um so you had a teacher and uh, she or he, she, she would take uh, your group for performances. Exactly. Now, after you finish learning, I mean, I don't know if you can ever finish learning an art, you know. But after you finish that ten years, obviously of um, Russian ballet, what did you do? Well, uh, when I was fourteen, and there was my teenage years, and as Vadim said, that time the hip hop became popular. Hip hop. So I decided oh. to try it. Um, um, so I joined the dance group, and I did a hip hop for four years. <laughs> really, I would have never seen you as a hip hop dancer. <laughs> I yeah, I know. But there, so. you know, I was a teenager, and I wanted to just try something very different. So, and I it did this and I was good at this actually, you know, the ballet game, you know, it was a great school. It gave me um, ability to oh. do all the other dances that I do. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Because what you had through Russian ballet was your basic foundation of uh, your body, your structure and how to manage and how to balance and all that flexibility probably. So you went into hip hop. Yeah. Hey, I love it. Okay. So you did that for about four years? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a long time. And uh, then what did you do? And then it was, uh, I was 18, I graduated high school and it was time for me to um, go to college. So I um, moved to Tallinn, that's the cap capital of Estonia. I went to study in there. And uh, while I was studying there, I just, you know, we as a dancers know we just can't live <laughs> without <laughs> not dancing. Yeah. You have to be at the dance class to feel the atmosphere. Um, so it's important. So I start looking, what can I do in here? And I just saw an advertisement in the newspaper uh, for flamenco classes. 
Spanish flamenco flamen class, a Spanish class. Mm -hmm. Dancing. Um, yes, Spanish dance, and um, I saw it once on a TV, yeah. and I really liked it. But there was nobody was teaching it. So at that time, you know, when I saw it, it was just it was something from far away, Spain. So, oh. but then um, it became popular in Estonia. So there was couple schools. So I went on one of them and um, did flamenco with them for three years. So. When you learned under this pr teacher, flamenco, uh, did you just learn there or did you have to travel places mm -hmm. to? Yes, we went um, to Spain for master classes. Uh, went to Spain for master classes? Yes. Wow, that, that is really like an immersion in dance, right? Mm -hmm. It so is. So you go to Spain and actually learn the authentic, pure dance form. Yes. Wow. How did you, uh, did you like travel back and forth, like maybe during uh, summer? It, we just went a couple times uh, for master classes, but every time it was like about two week intensive program. Oh, um, wow. So we would dance and then we would just do the sightseeing. So I love Spain. So that from that time, <laughs> I just, it, I loved it. So from I, that time, the doors oh, opened too. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually your doors opened once you started hip hop classes that is wonderful you talked about actually going after your school and you were you know um, with your uncle trying to learn the guitar then did you actually go to a music college officially train or you did you just learn under your uh, uncle well i actually uh, studied at the uh, romani Perform performing uh, art school in Moscow. Romani Performing Arts yeah, School? Yeah. This is in Moscow? That's in Moscow, yeah. Oh. And uh, basically all of us who actually studied there went to work at the Roman Theater, uh, at the uh, Gypsy Theater in Moscow, that's a famous theater. Wow. Uh, so straightforward you know, kind of um, education was, you know, at this school. Uh, and um, uh, on, the, on the side I, I studied with my uncle, so, so I studied guitar with him and also music. Um, yeah like uh, you know choir or dance or acting really? anything was at this so it was not just music no no so you it, had to learn like a comprehensive you have yeah uh yeah. theater yeah yeah so so you learned dancing too yes i did yeah did. and uh, so what kind of dancing were these is it that's everything a, it's or? a russian gypsy style of dancing pretty much so. russian gypsy that came yeah. from india yes exactly wow you know. Well, as you know, you know, Romani people came from India and, yeah, that's and true. flamenco music, it's not... Hey, we are related. Yeah. <laughs> we are related. <laughs> it's not uh, Spanish music as we, you know, everybody knows right now in the world, but yeah. it's actually music of uh, Roma mm -hmm. or gypsies from Spain. Uh -huh. Or like, you know, we, we call it Russian gypsy style. So it's, yeah. it's, you know, art of gypsy style, of gypsy people in Spain, so of Romani people. Wow, that's in beautiful. Russia. Yeah. That's beautiful. So you had to learn in this college, in the art academy, you had to learn what? You have to learn music, singing? Yeah, singing, singing. acting, dancing, you know, all that. So. All that together? Yeah. One person share? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or uh, really they teach you the whole thing so that you could be anything you want to be? Well, as I said, you know, we went to work at the theater, uh, uh, Roman, so you have to do any, everything at this theater. So you have to do like, uh, you know, yeah. singing, you have to dance, you have to, you know, act, you have to play <laughs> some kind of instrument if you can, if you know, so, so that was a pre preparation for, for the theater. Wow. Now, if I remember right, did you say you also worked part-time when you're doing that over there? I worked uh, with many other uh, groups on that oh, time. So okay. <coughs> I worked on the side yeah, of the theater. So I worked with uh, some ensembles, um, uh -huh. like one of them was a uh, Jelem ensemble. Okay. That's uh, of the famous family Erdenko. That's uh, a oh. uh, you know, fam uh, famous art family dynasty of you know, many generations of musicians. Some others too, you know. Yeah. My uncle's trio uh, also, oh. you know. He so he had group. a band. He has, yeah, and he I was part band. of it too. So oh, wow. later on, you know, you know, you both have this passion, you know, to music and to dance, and pretty much dedicated your life in learning these dance forms. Obviously, for you, and then for you, you know, music as well as other things, but primarily, yeah. you know, really learning to play and follow the. Is that? Um, 
Vadim, for you, do you, you know, you have learned this from your uncle, but you loved it on your own. Yes, absolutely. You know, and it was your own passion. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, and has that become like a family tradition? Well, yeah, now we have uh, like third generation of guitar players. So my nephew also continues this generation right now. So. Wow. And uh, myself and my uncle, you see. So it's kind of yeah, becoming of, uh, you know, <coughs> of our family tradition. Wow. Wow, that's that's really amazing. Even in your case, Marina, you know, you, it was your mother's dream, and then it it became your dream, you know, because you can't make somebody dance. Of course, you know, a, a mother or father can, you know, ask students to ask their children to learn a dance form, but you just cannot make someone dance because that is a passion, like you said that has to come from within to learn. So what did, you do, what did you do after, you know, you went to Spain and all that? Did you come to US after that or? Yes, I've moved to United States um, and um, when I was here, you know, I moved to Charlotte and um, again, I start looking. <laughs> <laughs> You're always what? looking yes. because this, probably these dance forms were not very uh, known or popular at that time, is it? Yes, when I came yeah. here, I thought Charlotte is a big city and I'll definitely find a flamenco group yeah. in here. So I called a lot of dance companies, but none of them don't have it. Some of them don't even know what it is. Really? Yes. So people didn't even know? When was this? That was like 10 years ago. So there was not much awareness to flamenco dancing, even in those days. Right, the only awareness, just like you said, it was probably when I called the um, Latin dance company. Latin dance company. Yes, so they know they what's flamenco. Oh. Um, oh, so, yeah. And they, yes, and so I joined that dance company. Yeah. They invited me to teach. So I was dancing, performing with them and teaching flamenco. Oh, so you were doing both. You're performing and teaching. Yeah. Wow. Now, so um, you, you did that for quite some time with them. So that's how actually in Charlotte you got established. Yes because you were teaching as well as, you know, performing your dance forms. And for me, you know, Vadim, I, when I hear you play guitar, and it is amazing to me, just the sounds, and then the energy that comes with it. And so if you can explain to me, um, especially your journey, because you obviously were performing, like you said, a trio, you know, with your uncle's group. So you came to Charlotte as well. How did you end up here? Well, I moved <laughs> to, um, you know, I, first time I came to uh, United States for, uh, for tour with my uncle. Oh, okay. and that was in 1999. And uh, the tour was organized by um, World Music Institute in New York. And we had like 25 cities, you know, on, on tour and perform in the big halls, you know, like a Lincoln, Lincoln Center in New York or something like that. So it was great, great performing uh, places. So we went uh, on tour and, you know, I was like 17 years old. So it just, you know, <laughs> it's like, was, wow. it, yeah, <laughs> I was amazed by the, uh, you know, of this country and, you know, the people and everything. So even though we knew the whole music, you know, from America and, you know, I was listening to jazz, you know, a lot. So I liked all the culture of uh, art in America. Yeah. But the first time I came when I was 17 years old. So. And then next time I went to uh, US uh, when I was uh, like 23 or something, 22. Um, in 2003, we had a project uh, with other group, uh, you know, like, um, a CD project, so we recorded some CDs that you probably have. Oh yeah, one, <laughs> one of them. So, and um, in 2004, I moved to uh, United States to Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, you came to Boston first. Cold. Yeah, <laughs> like in Russia. <laughs> like in Russia, right? You felt right at home, yeah. right? The winter time, yeah. Yeah. And um, after, um, you know, I used to live in Boston for a couple of years, and I moved to Charlotte. Uh, I've been uh, invited to uh, UNC Charlotte as an artist in residence. Oh, 
Oh, UNC Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, and I that's spent a couple of years there at the university. So what did you do when you were there as a resident? Uh, I was teaching students. You were teaching <laughs> uh, like uh, guitar Russian or and gypsy uh, dance uh, music. Dance and music. Yeah, yeah so both of it. And uh, put the show together, a couple of shows with oh, students wow. and faculty and you know guest artists so it, it was you know, oh, that sounds exciting. that's where marina <laughs> performed the first time at my show oh ah, so you you know you both are from russia so you are you telling me you did not meet in russia you mm, met no. here in charlotte here in charlotte yes. yes oh that is funny oh, oh i have to ask this story because usually when i have when i have couples and on the interview and when I ask the husband he gives a different story and when I ask the wife she gives a different story <laughs> <laughs> so well, well how did you meet her well um, when I moved to Charlotte yeah you know I didn't knew anything in, about the city or the yeah. state you know so I was calling like to get a haircut somewhere <laughs> so, <laughs> to, calling to uh, you know some places and um, then I you know I came to to one of the salons and uh, and met Marina there, you know, suddenly. So we just kind of you know, met over there. And uh, then, you know, she said that she's a dancer, you know, she's, she does flamenco. And so and I told her, you know, that I work here and the university and I put the show together. So I invited her to, to participate in the show. And that's how we met, you know. And that's how you met. Okay, Marina, what is your story? <laughs> Well, um, I heard him first when he called. Um, I worked at the salon and um, he called there, so I picked up the phone and he catched, you know, caught my accent. So he has to speak Russian. <laughs> I said, I do. So yeah, so we start talking and he just seemed to me, you know, he said he just moved here, he's from Moscow and famous guy and <laughs> he was... <laughs> I didn't say that, but famous guy. <laughs> but, so that but who's this famous guy? I don't know his name. <laughs> yes, I had to look it up. So after, after talking I to him, it. I, you know, I googled him, of course, and then I saw, you know, where he come from, what does he do and all that. Yeah, but then uh, he's like, I'm a guitarist. Well, I told him, well, I'm a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I say? I do flamenco. So he's like, oh, great. Um, so we start talking about that. Oh, that's wonderful. That's but wonderful. it's all happened just the phone call. <laughs> all with the phone <laughs> just, call. Yeah. And you yeah. as a manager just picked up that phone. Yeah. You know, so I feel that when you look at an authentic dance forms and music like what you both have, and um, that, and, and this is like no pun intended, but it's a fine marriage between two. <laughs> you know, the music and the dance. For somebody, you know, I know you have traveled, uh, did you, you traveled with Madonna as well, right? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, well, where did you guys go? Just a quick well, after go. we actually met and, you know, we got married and, uh, you know, we have a child, a uh, son. Oh, okay. He is six years old now. And uh, I thought I, I was invited to, uh, you know, to, to be a, to perform with Madan, with my uncle's trio, the Kolpakov trio. So we went to tour with her for two years. Um, Toured with Madonna for yeah, two years. Yeah, all over the oh world. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Yeah, we performed. It's like uh, a single mother time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> wow. right. I would come yeah. and see him, you know, like if they're in New York or somewhere. Yeah. So I, we would yeah. travel there just, you know, to see him, they but it's just he was never, him. you know, home. And that takes, you know, in a in art forms like this. You should be willing to do those kind of things. In, in a nutshell, what does it take to become a musician like this? What kind of dedication do you need to have? Well, you have to have a passion, passion have for that passion first. passion for the art form, yeah. Uh, then you have to work hard <laughs> to make your music perfect. Mm. So, and, uh, um, you know, I always loved that, you know, as I said, the music and guitar uh, playing. So you have to spend a lot of time. It's not just you got the guitar and you start playing it right away. Yeah. So you spend many, many years and uh, you know, you have to love it a lot. You have to love it and train. Yes. And then I like what you said, you have to keep playing and until it sounds perfect yeah. to you yeah. as a musician. And there's no never end. So yeah. you always learn something new in music, you know, all your life. So, so it's, it's, it's a lifelong learning. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. What, what about in dancing? You know, you have done so many different dance styles. 
What does it take for somebody to really do something like this? That's, that's pretty intense. That's right. Um, it is passion and yeah. you have to dance with your heart. It all comes from your heart. Wow. Yes, you just, you either love it or maybe not, but if you love it really much, you yeah. can master, you know, yourself. It does take time um, to become the great dancer, but um, if you love this, nothing matters. So you're tired, you know, when you're dancing and practicing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, accidents happen or something, but um, you, you, just, um, something. Yeah, you, have to. you just don't pay attention, you just keep going because you yeah, love it. Yeah, show <laughs> all the time, right? Yeah, that's what the show must go on. Yeah, the show must go on, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, uh, as you know, I have a band, uh, yeah. it's called Viero Man, uh, my ensemble. And uh, that's what we do, you know, with Marina uh, in our group. Now both of you are collaborating and then doing this together. This is absolutely wonderful. And I think you both bring so much art and culture, you know, from Russia, from, you know, this whole Romanian culture, the gypsy culture, flamenco and everything, and the new guitar, your music. And I think Charlotte is very lucky to have both of you. And thank you so much for being on our show. Thank, thank you so you. much, man. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching Charlotte, a city of international success. I'm Dr. Maha Gingrich. Please join us again next time, right here on WTBI PBS Charlotte. of WTBI-PBS Charlotte.